Hi there, Richard the Dick Coffin, 666, how are you? I don't really know what I'm, how I'm going to say what I'm going to say in this video. Um, a lot of people commented on uh, a video I did on Monday saying that I looked down and I looked, said to be honest I was just tired. Um, yeah, the DMCA's piss you off, but, you know, life goes on. But there's been something e eating away at me for the last week or so. Something... And, and, I, and I, don't, I didn't really know what it was. And, um, and today so it finally sort of hit me really what it was and it's that uh, I, w I was I was feeling uneasy because I feel that lately lots of things have been lots of things have been changing around here people have been changing perceptions of of people have been changing there's been a lot of uh, there's been a lot of drama, there's been a lot of what, what I feel there's been a lot of uneasy behaviour and um, I'm not just talking about me and Pat Condell and I'm not specifically just talking about Thunderfoot and Dawa films I've uh, I'm choosing to stay out of Thunderfoot Darwa films. I've had enough drama in the last two weeks. Um, there's an old, there's a saying, there's, a, there's an old, uh, I say old, it's, it's not that old, there's a, there's a saying that I have, or a philosophy that I have on YouTube that I learned quite a while ago, and it's if you don't control the drama, the drama will control you. Um, to, to those who've been actively involved in one side or another in the Thunderfoot Darwa films drama I would just say this if you don't want this if you're uneasy with the situation just don't get involved it will go away um, there are thought there are faults on both sides here, and some people just won't acknowledge it. But uh, there's no right or wrong in this issue. There's um, but there are certain things we need to, that need to be addressed. Here are some comments I've received in the last few weeks uh, as a result of... I did one video on my comments but I think this one these comments and uh, this video is really to highlight something else that's more important. Fuck you you communist scum Pat Condell owns you I'm not watching your shitty video Condell is older than you, and you should respect your elders. Why do you care about his political views? Why do they matter? Does that sound familiar? Why do you care what we believe? I don't know who the fuck you are, but Pat Condell has my unconditional support, and he always will. Who the fuck is this junky piece of shit? Fuck off and die. Why don't you fuck off and go suck some more dick for some crack, you piece of shit? You need help, you backstabbing piece of shit cunt. Oh, don't forget I also received that DMCA from a guy who is an atheist. 
I've also received private emails from people telling me that they're going to flag down my videos about Pat Condell. So what we've got here is a group of people who are actively going around being abusive, being fundamentalist in their mindset. They're not being rational, they're not being fair. And this isn't a minority, and this isn't just trolls. I find it interesting the amount of people who posted just mindless, pointless abuse at me and gave me shit because I had the gall to make that video to Pat Condell. And yet, the amount of people I saw who did that, and those people are the same people who are critical of moderate Muslims for not speaking out against extremists. Now, does anyone see a disconnect there? The fact that they criticise one group for not speaking out against a certain uh, extreme element in their group, and yet that's how they react when I spoke out against someone else in my so-called community. But then, this is the best bit, this is a PM I received, and I haven't, uh, I haven't told anyone about this until today. It disgusts me that sickos like you exist in my country. Pat Condell makes me proud to be an atheist. And you make me ashamed. Boo hoo. I'm from the UK and I'm going to be looking out for you. And one day I'll find you. And when I do, I'm going to slit your throat. Fuck off and die. So what we've got here is a group actively going around personally harassing someone threatening someone sending death threats to someone censoring someone and it's not religious extremists it's not Muslim fundamentalists it's so-called rational atheist freethinkers. There's another guy, there's a couple of users who made videos critical of Thunderfoot, one's a guy called Symbolic, there's another one. I don't necessarily agree completely with what they were saying, but they had videos flanked. One guy even got, one guy Symbolic even got suspended for a brief period because of one of his videos disagreeing with Thunderfoot. And I don't see anyone mentioning this. And I don't see anyone Calling around. I don't see anyone, I don't see enough people, but you know, uh, Darwa Films, um, you want to make reasonable criticisms, that's fine, but I, I was disgusted by the amount of comments I saw on his channel page and in his video calling him fucking sand nigger, make, making all, just, just dozens upon dozens of disgusting abuse and racial slurs and I don't see anyone I see people defending I see people talking about uh, Thunderfoot defending him or siding with him and that's fine but there needs to be a balance here there needs to be a redressing here because in the last two weeks the only group that has been censoring me the only group that has been terrorizing me and the only group that's been threatening and sending me death threats are atheists and I'm calling you fuckers out you want to support this kind of behavior are you happy with this I could fucking do it I could go on for another hour with some of the shit I've had to put up with and I don't see anyone anyone standing up to it well I'm gonna now Because this is all. I, 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 this is the biggest thing. This is the, this is 
I think the reason it's been eating away at me more is because I see plenty of people speaking out against the terrorists and the extremists and the really I don't see anyone having the goal to acknowledge the faults on their own side. Maybe they don't want to. But if we're not careful, and if this sort of behaviour is not squashed, then before you know it, we're no better. We've become nothing more than that which we actively despise. Atheist community, R.I.P. Richard the Dick Coughlin, 666, good night, may God be less.